So one comment that I see frequently on my channel by Flat Earthers is the claim that the horizon always rises to our level. Now this is quite a common claim and I'm sure anyone who has been involved in watching Flat Earth videos for a while will have heard it many times. However, it is quite incorrect. It's incorrect for the globe, but it is also incorrect for the Flat Earth. Now, I do acknowledge there are some Flat Earthers who will readily accept that the horizon does drop even on a Flat Earth. And I've proved many times in my aircraft videos that we have significant horizon drop when viewed through the head-up display on the aircraft. But yesterday I bought this dumpy level, which is a piece of equipment used by surveyors to find the plane of true level. So what this instrument does, it's basically like a mini telescope. And I won't go right into the operation of how it works, but essentially it's just a small telescope and this one has 32 times magnification and when you look through the viewfinder there's a reticle that will show you the precise position of true level or eye level and I've also bought the tripod to go with it and this afternoon I was down at a hospital just north of Sydney and I just did a quick demonstration from the hospital window looking across at Centre Point Tower and as you watch the following video you will see that the dumpy level is indicating the position of eye level and the horizon is nowhere near it so even as low as under a thousand feet elevation it is very obvious that the horizon has not risen to eye level in the future i'll be going through a detailed explanation of how this instrument works and i'll be using it for a number of different experiments from different altitudes and elevations, looking at buildings in the city, in Sydney and other parts of Australia and around the world, and also just demonstrating that the horizon is not actually rising to our level. No matter how high we go, it never reaches the true level that this instrument will show you very accurately. So here is the dumpy level on the tripod. And I'll just show you some of the features. This is a small knob which allows adjustment left and right. This larger knob is for focusing. So once you are pointing at your desired target, you can focus it precisely. On top, we have a physical sight, similar to what you would see on a handgun or a rifle. That just allows for initial alignment on the target. And then you can fine tune by looking through the viewfinder. There are three knobs here which just allow for precise leveling which is confirmed by this bubble level and there's a little mirror that just assists in aligning that easily without having to crane your neck looking over the top so this instrument has an accuracy listed as two millimeters per kilometer so if we are looking at an object 40 kilometers away that's about 25 miles in imperial the error is going to be no more than 80 millimeters. That's less than four inches. So looking at an object 25 miles away, this is going to show us the position of level to an accuracy of better than four inches, which is certainly more than adequate for the type of experiments that I plan to be doing. So I'm in a building north of Sydney and the elevation here is about 720 feet. Now that's not critical, but I'm looking out the window towards the city centre, specifically at Centre Point Tower. I've got the P900 set up, and there you can see Centre Point Tower. We can zoom out. And back in again. This takes a second to focus. Now, beside that, I have this dumpy level, which is 32 times magnification, and I have set it up. You can see the bubble level is perfectly centered there. Now, when we look through the dumpy level, we're going to see a line that shows exactly level with our current position, and we'll see where it intersects with center point tower.
So you can see that the line was showing that true level is just below the main body of the tower itself. And that's confirmed with a proper surveyor's piece of equipment. That is where eye level is. And yet looking out the window and looking in the P900, the horizon is nowhere near eye level. In fact, beyond the tower is the ocean and we can't see any evidence of it at all. So the dumpy level absolutely proves that the horizon does not rise to eye level. The horizon is nowhere to be seen near the base of that tower.